Good afternoon. This is Dr. Bill White, the American Orthodontic Society. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about early uprighting of teeth. We did this way back in the 70s before we had uh, bonding material and before we had the tubes and things that we use today and don't think about it. But let me get into it and show you the case. The principle is just as alive today as it was then and it'll be alive a uh, hundred years from now. So let's uh, look at that principle. Here's a young lady, a, a very pretty young lady. We have done the, we've done the extraction and brought her teeth back in already. I don't have the first starting slides of her and uh, she's got a nice smile and her teeth are She's had a lot of fluorosis in the teeth, and so uh, it's hard to bond anything to teeth like this. They're resistant to acid, so we're, uh, of course, we were using bands uh, then all the time anyway. And so we, just for regular orthodontics, I'm going to cover it pretty quick. We use these little spring separators here. You might notice them. They're... Uh, you just prize that loose and slip it between the teeth, and they're very good. Uh, you can use the uh, plastic ones, either one in here. Now, let me hit, go through it quick. Now, we're going to close this space up, and we're going to bring the teeth together in the regular orthodontics, and we're closing those cuspids and lining up those lower ends here. We bring the cuspid back in here. This will come forward some, which is all right, and we'll bring it back, get room enough, and bring those cuspids into space. And here we're uh, just pretty well finished with the regular part of the dental work. And what I want to show you is here is a molar tooth, which is lined up out in here somewhere. And we want to upright this. She, she's got all kinds of room for it. And we've sacrificed a bicuspid up here. And we want to bring this in and upright this. Now, they did not have any bonding material back then. So we took, I etched and washed and dried this tooth down in the top. And I knew I had to be over to the side with the spring. And I put a lump of acrylic in there. And for it hardened completely, I embedded this wire in it that goes over like this and has the spring in it, you see, that picks that tooth up. And uh, so let me go ahead and show you the thing after I did it. Now, here you can look down on the tooth, and it is, and here's where we put the bonding material or the acrylic and then we embedded that spring that wire spring into that uh, and now I sent this off to that was back when we had to send our pictures off and this came back and actually this is going out here but I just stuck it in there's a little hook we had on it and uh, now if you look at this and you don't think anything about it I had this leg of wire right here was going down about like that. And I pulled it up and tied it so I could bond this thing on. And after it got hardened real good, I cut this wire. And then it, it's, I laid it in, the t in between the bracket and the tooth over here. And I cut that, and that put the activation on this quite a bit. Let me uh, go ahead and show you. Uh, now I stick it on the tooth and now the wire is still tied on there so if I cut that wire this this would go down this way and stick in the cheek. I put as much activation as I could bond it on with and stuck it over here and embedded that in this, this acrylic and let it get good and hard before I did anything. Now I'll show you in a little bit we come in and click cut that little wire and you have a lot of activation on it 
So here we've cut the wire, but first we put it up here in the, on the brackets in here, this area where it can slide backwards as it opens this gap up up here. Now this wire, if you took it out of there, it would go down something like that. So there's a way of a lot of activation in this. And uh, <coughs> if you weren't used to doing this, it would be hard, but it, this is this principle can be used. It doesn't whether you're doing orthodontics or not. In other words, you can bond a wire on about four teeth in here and make a spring. Now you put it in a tube over here, and all you have to do is just have a wire come in, and the wire can be like that and come down, and you raise it up and hook it over here, and you can upright any tooth. I don't care how old they are. I've never run into a tooth that I couldn't upright. So don't, you've got a bridge, you want to straighten the tooth up, you're putting the implant in, you want to straighten it up and move the roots, you can do this way. And I've been lecturing on this for uh, for years, and still I see some of the idiotic type ways of trying to upright those tooth, this tooth when it can be done so simply. You don't need to be an orthodontist or anything. You know, you, if you just got some little tubes, you can bond onto the teeth. It'll work. So let's let's see what it does. Now see where it's bonded. That it's stuck down in here with this acrylic, and it comes over here. The activation has to be on the side of the tooth to pick it up like that. And watch what this does. And this. Uh, a pretty short time. The, the the impaction over on the other side was just slightly, and I put separators to get it. But it took us more time to get it up in line than it did to, to correct this over here. I'll show you that on X-ray after a while. Okay, this is just regular orthodontic, so I'm not going to spend time on that. But now here, here the little wire see it slid back, and this tooth is completely uprighted in here. Now this principle I used in the early 70s. I didn't have anything to put it on the side, but the principle will be the same a hundred years from now. And so you can upright any tooth you want to unless it's ankylose like that. And let me go ahead and show you. Now here it is. So we separated and bond for the put a band on that wisdom tooth and we'll separate and put a band on the second uh, the second molar and we've got several views of it in here. Now there there it is, all these teeth are banded and this is that tooth that was set like that. Now if that tooth I can't show much on here, but uh, this tooth could have been you could have had it laying down on its side, down in here. If you can get to this to put something on it and just bond a wire to several teeth over here and you put your little spring in there, activate it, and it's going down here, raise it up and hook it up here, and it'll pick that tooth up. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't found anybody that wouldn't do it unless it was ankylose. If it's ankylose, you go ahead and break it loose and put the same blooming thing on it, and it'll straighten it up too. So anyway, you have to be careful with that. You'll pull it with it. All right, here she is finished, and you can see what's uh, we've closed it up, and here's that tooth, and here's the other one on this side of the mouth, and it was slightly impacted. Here's the one we worked on, and here's the one we just put a separator in, push it back, and then it'll come up a little further, and you put another one, and then this occlude is, occludes right there. Now, a, as you upright these teeth, they will run into the tooth above if the tooth is in there. Do not grind the tooth off here. It'll it'll push it down and upright it even though it comes in contact with the tooth above it. So don't go in there and think, well, I've got to grind that off so it can go up. Leave it alone. 
you put pressure on it and the occlusion will push it down and it'll end up usually a little bit behind the tooth and then you bring it forward like that. So anybody can do this. You don't have to be an orthodontist. You don't have to just get you some tubes and bond the wire to the teeth and it'll do that. Now there's one tooth in there I think we're missing. Uh, it, funny that I think I've got a picture of that tooth though. Anyway, here we are in there, that side, and this is the tooth that we did right here. And I hope you've picked up something from this and learned how to do it. You don't have to know any orthodontics. You can lay a wire on here and come up here and put another one, and you put a tube in this part right here and st stick this in and this thing, you can turn the wire up like this and have it going down that way. Bring it up and hook it over here and it'll upright that tooth. So I will have to sign off here. I hope you get something out of this and you will uh, join our group and subscribe to our uh, orthodontic program and uh, glad to have you.